a long while back, I had put together the Jaws Challenge, which, in case any of you are wondering, this is not a movie. This is a screen reader. You can take a look at that video and, 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 and take a look and see what that is. And take advantage of it if you wish. Uh, Jaws is for the PC. If you're on a Mac, you've already got a screen reader. Unfortunately, I am not a full-time user of that screen reader. Um, so I would not be the best person to ask for advice. Um, I am looking very lustfully at Snow Leopard, as the voiceover help has been greatly, greatly improved, and for newbies, it, it just it just puts you immediately into the voiceover tutorial, and it, you have help tags that come up. It's just fantastic. But, again, that's for Mac users, so if you're on a PC, again, the Jaws Challenge if you're interested. Speaking of voiceover, we're going to now have the voiceover challenge. And I'm going to give you a little something that I wrote. This is going to be in the description verbatim. Um, with the exception of some parts, for example, um, I've got uh, turn off the screen, explain how here. That's what's going to show up in the, in the description, but in the video, that's where I explain, you know, how you would turn off the screen. And wait a moment, what are you talking about? Turn off the screen... You know, how can you do that? What are you talking about? We'll get to that, okay? So just calm down. Introduction. VoiceOver is a screen reader for the Mac, iPhone, and iPod Touch, third generation, 32 and 64 gigabyte models. Uh, just real quick, the 8 gigabyte, the 199, that does not have the hardware upgrades. It does not have the capability of running VoiceOver as a result. This challenge will be focusing primarily on the iPhone and iPod Touch, since not all users on YouTube have a Mac. A screen reader is an application that takes what is displayed on screen and reads it to someone who cannot see the screen, and this is done through electronic speech synthesis. If you've used voice control, on the uh, uh, the voice control feature on your iPhone or iPod Touch 3264, um, third generation, the voice that responds with the command executed command. So, for example, you say "Play songs by Green Day," and the voice and the iPod responds "Playing songs by Green Day." That voice that said "Playing songs by Green Day," that is the voiceover speech. This is known in the community as the eloquence nuance vo as the eloquence vocalizer by nuance. We just call it the vocalizer for short. The voice's name is Samantha, and yes, we in the community do name our voices. We've also got a male voice called Tom. Unfortunately, he does not come with the iPod. Um, in Jaws, the default voice that comes up is called Reed, and of course, in different screen readers, it can be the same voice can be called different things. But uh, we do name our voices. Um, anyway, this challenge is for you, the sighted iPhone and iPod Touch third generation 3264 gig user, to try to expand your horizons and understand our world. And by our world, I mean the world of people with vision issues. Now, I've got eight steps here. And again, this will also be this, this will all be in the description. Number one, go into settings. Then you want to tap general. After that, you want to tap accessibility, which is located right under international settings. It goes basically international accessibility. So international, and then right below it's accessibility. Tap voiceover, and then there's going to be a button. You want to turn basically an on-off switch. You want to move that to on. In the dialog comes up, that comes up, tap the OK button. Now, this is where I vary from the verbatim uh, script. Um, the dialog that comes up, and VoiceOver will read this to you, it basically is going to say that VoiceOver changes the gestures that are used to control the, uh, the device, in which either the iPod or the iPhone. Um, and it will ask if you want to proceed. 
and you want to tap OK. But you can't just reach up and tap OK. This is where voiceover begins to work, and this is where those voiceover gestures go into effect. So in order to reach that button, um, you want to flick to the right down the dialogue until you reach that button. Now, there is one thing to note, um, and I will probably repeat this later on in the video. If you know where something is, so if you have an idea of where the OK button is, or if you have the screen on and you can see and you know where the OK button is, you can tap that, but all that's going to do is highlight it. It's not going to activate it. In order to activate the button, you have to double tap. Now, the voiceover help feature is on by default, so you can um, flick to the right until you see the OK button, and it will say, OK button, double tap to press, or something like that. I can't remember what the exact wording is. It's basically double tap to activate. Um, so you double tap, and that will dismiss the dialogue. Now, you want to turn off the screen. It's not really a challenge for somebody who's sighted unless you turn the screen off. And some of you might be thinking, well, wait a moment, all you can do is adjust the brightness. You can't turn the darn screen off without making the vo device, you know, unusable. You cannot use the device if the screen's off. Yes, you can. What you do is you want to triple tap with three fingers. So you want to hold up three fingers like this and tap the screen three times. And that's going to go ahead and, um, and that's going to go ahead and turn off the screen. From there, you want to navigate to and press the Practice Gestures button. And again, you want to flick to the right until you reach that button. Mm, excuse me, until you reach that button. Because if you try to swipe up and down, because that button is located below um, what you first initially see in the voiceover dialog, if you try to flick up and down, that's not going to work. So you want to flick to the right and go down each item until you reach that button. And you double tap on it to activate it. Now, it will say press the done button when finished. Um, you're not going to be able, because the voiceover, gest the voiceover gesture practice area is what can be thought of for experienced screen reader users as a keyboard help mode. Um, this is basically like a gesture help area. All it's going to do is let you practice the gestures. So if you flick to the right to try to get to that done button, it's only going to tell you what it does. I'm going to tell you that the uh, done button is in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Um, it's below the status bar, so if you tap in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you just tap in the, in, the, in the area until you find that done button and you double tap to activate it. But spend some time in that, um, in that area because you'll need it. I'll give you a hint. Right flicking goes down the list of items because everything is presented in a list now. It's not, you know, glance at it. It's it's pre presented to you a group of items, a, a group of text at a time. So right and left to flick up and down. Double tap to activate any buttons or controls. Now that you have that under under underway and you've taken a look at the voiceover help gestures, here's what I want you to do. Now for the first two, this is going to be iPhone only, okay? So you want to make a phone call and have somebody call you because voiceover will announce the caller ID. Um, now there was one thing said about the business of um, how the ID works. I can't remember exactly what it is, but you can figure it out. Um, it's not it's not hard. Um, so with every with both devices you want to use the iPod, use Safari, and with the keyboard it comes up one tap highlights the key, double tap to activate the key, and it's pretty easy if you know your way around. It's not too bad. Um, browse the App Store, buy and download an app, try to use the app, and then finally turn voiceover off. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. This is primarily an experience, this is an experience to expand your horizons, give you an insight into our world. If anybody has any questions, don't, fe don't fear to contact me. I will certainly try to help you out. Um, I'm running out of time, so that's why I'm speeding this up. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. Again, this will be in the all this will be in the description and have a nice day.